Today I'm riding all the way around Hong Kong. I'm in Hong Kong now, but this fence separates Hong Kong from China. So on the other side of this fence is Shenzhen. By the way, it's laundry day today, so don't forget to wash your bibs and hang them up. What's up guys? What's up cycling fanatics? Yo, I'm back in Hong Kong and today I'm doing a big ride going all around the country and I'm passing China and Shenzhen. So check it out. Here's the story. It's Friday, January 4th, 2019. Happy New Year, everybody. I spent New Year's Eve with uh, the baby and uh, Daisy. I was at home. We kept it pretty low key because I had to work on the first day of the year, January 1st, flying to Hong Kong. So arriving on the second and I had two days, two full days in Hong Kong. So that's pretty cool. So yesterday the third, I went to the, to the Rafa shop to pick up my rental bike at the end of the day. I did some hill repeats on Mount Davis, really steep, short climb. But today, today I'm doing a ride that I have wanted to do for a long time now. I had the plan to do this ride a pretty long time ago when I had a longer layover in Hong Kong, but I got sick from some bad food. So I never got to do this ride. This summer, our layovers won't be as long. So it's gonna be really hard to get a long ride in like this. So this might be my last opportunity actually to do this ride. Woo! And I'm feeling really good. The weather is really good. So I'm happy that I'm here and riding around the entire country of Hong Kong. I think this is the first time I'm riding on the bike lane here in Hong Kong. There's not many bike lanes. What's your name? Louis. Louis? Yeah. My name is Jasper. Oh, Jasper, how are you? Get you someone to take photo okay it's good yes okay random guy he doesn't know me but he wants to go on the picture i say of course of course and i'm gonna tell him that he's gonna be on youtube you look so great you look great okay one two three okay getting good angles yeah look taller huh one all right. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Now follow me on Instagram and YouTube. <laughs> You're gonna be famous. No. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Check Where me out. Where are you going? I'm gonna go all around the northern territories. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Cool. Good. Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Meet you someday. Cycling. <laughs> Fanatics. Okay. Yes. So I'm about one hour in the ride. Uh, so far, so good. It's been pretty busy with traffic and crazy stuff. So I hope the northerly part is gonna be a little more quiet. The whole ride is gonna be around 130 kilometers and I'll be passing the border of China uh, at the city of Shenzhen. So I hope we can get some nice views from there. Tour 
outside today I've got the Wahoo that came with the bike of uh, the rental shop so that's nice because I can load in my, my route and uh, so far it works pretty well I'm just riding on this bike lane and I don't know if you can see it but there's like a massive white statue over there right there I didn't really see a, a way to get to it but some of my Hong Kong followers must know what it is just let me know in the comments I'm, I'd like to know looks like a pretty big statue and what do you think of the Hong Kong version of a bicycle symbol that's painted here on the bike lane it's pretty funny it's like almost a bike with two handlebars right now you have a very good view of this statue check it out It's the third time I'm passing the other cyclist, the older gentleman on the bike over there. It's like uh, it's the story of the turtle in the haze. He's just taking his own pace. He knows his way. He never goes into a wrong street. And I'm racing around, having no clue where I am, trying to take pictures stopping at places, going into the wrong streets, have to turn around and then I pass him again. It's like, what? I got so much faster, but at the end, he's gonna win. About two hours in the ride, right now it seems like i'm finally on a more quiet part of the country pretty much the whole part from the beginning i've been riding through the city so it's really busy but here it's super quiet it's nice roads are good nothing is flat which is usual in hong kong and i have to remind myself to ride on the left side of the road instead of the right side of the road but the left side is the right side here in hong kong So this is the brand new McLaren. These guys are from McLaren and they're here in Hong Kong to do some pictures of this new car. is over back in the busy part i am getting pretty close to the chinese border now so i didn't bring my passport so i cannot cross that's not the plan either so uh, almost there okay so i'm in hong kong 50 meters this way is china and there's a very big fence there's two fences actually in between hong kong and china So much traffic right here. It's insane how many big cargo trucks are driving around and not really the ideal place to ride your bike. I didn't really get a nice view of Shenzhen either, so. This part of Hong Kong is very different from uh, Hong Kong Island. Hong Kong Island is like fancy fashion nice cars big tall glass buildings expensive stuff everywhere and here it's more like china more rubbish 
They're building on the roads everywhere. Super busy, crazy part of the city. Hey, the bike lane. But they do have a bike lane. Okay, so I'm taking this tunnel. I can go to Shek Wu Hui or Shen Shui Wai. I don't know. All I'm doing is following the navigation computer. Now I have to check the map again. Okay, I think it's Shen Shui. Uh, I think I'm wrong. Well, it was a 50-50 shot, so I'm going the other way. Okay, so I didn't really get a good view of Shenzhen right next to the border, but right here you can see this part is still Hong Kong. And then right there you can see the big buildings, tall skyscrapers of Shenzhen. And then a massive pipeline going straight through the backyard of these people. Hello, massive pipeline. Okay, almost three hours on the clock, almost 80K. So I still have about 50K to go. Feeling good, weather's good. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna go for Tai Mo Shan, which is a big, big climb. I can do at the end of my ride, at the end of my loop. It's gonna give you a massive, massive view overhead, whole Kowloon and Hong Kong Island. Okay, back into total crazy madness, city life of Hong Kong. Uh, I'm going to try and buy some, uh, try to find some water to refill the bottles. No clue where I am, but I'm just following your navigation. Hey, back on the bike lane. tells me to go straight here but I've got some dogs and I'm not sure how they're gonna react and I'm not sure how this road is either I'm gonna go around. I looked at the map and there's a way around. So, whoa, adrenaline pumping. One eternity later. Okay, I found a way around the dogs, but now I end up at this place and this is where I need to go. There's a fence. How can, how can this route go on this road when there's a fence? I have a feeling that I, I'm not supposed to be here. Everybody's just staring me down like, hey, a white guy, what is he doing here? Hashtag adventure. Going back in the same way I, ca I got here. Uh, I cannot go past the dogs. I cannot go past the water station because there's a fence. Uh, the map of the Wahoo is useless if you go off route because you can't really navigate on it based on the map. Uh, I had another look at the map, but uh, it seems like there's no way around except the part where the dogs are. By the way, it's laundry day today, so don't forget to wash your bibs and hang them up. So, unfortunately, I cannot do the entire routing as I had it in mind. Eventually. Okay, 
Okay, seems to be back on route. Found some water at the local noodle shop. Just mixed up my bottle with Martin, which is a, a new drink mix that I'm sort of using or testing. It has a very high amount of carbs, but it's not heavy on the stomach, so that's really nice. About 20k to go, so I'm almost there. On the bike now for four hours. Let's make our way back to uh, Hong Kong Island, get the, get the bike back. And then at the end, I'll tell you how I feel about the ride of today, if it's worth it doing it or not. in the urban jungle, the urban jungle of Hong Kong. Zone one, that's the station I'm looking for. Okay, back on Hong Kong Island, back in uh, Central. So at the end, I didn't go up uh, Tai Mo Shan just because I don't have the time. It's a uh, quarter to six now, the shop closes at seven and the climb would take me like an hour and a half. So I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna have to stress out to be in time back at the shop. And uh, right now I just have a very short little ride back to the shop through the crazy part of the city. shop is at the end of this street but it's kind of a steep street i'm done for today later okay we've got that sorted now uh, i'm gonna get a taxi back to the hotel and i'm gonna tell you what i think of this ride and if you should do it or not snacks some dry fr dried fruits my verdict on today's ride I don't think I'm gonna do it again but I'm happy I did it I wanted to do this ride for a long time so I can tick the box but if you're only here in Hong Kong for a couple days and you have a couple rides to do I would not do this ride there's a lot of city area there's a lot of industrial areas to find your way on the bike lanes and then on the streets on the roads and I didn't enjoy it as much as other rides I did if you just go up uh, Tai Mo Shan, that's an amazing ride. 
you can go straight from the um, from the metro station if you do a loop on hong kong island it's really cool go up the peak it's really cool if you want to know more if you want to see more videos of hong kong i've got a whole playlist of uh videos here riding in hong kong so make sure you check out those videos don't forget to like this video share it with your friends and uh, subscribe to the channel thanks for watching see ya Huh. Right, okay.